Captain Hook fight through a splash of colour on the back wall as my little cousin Michael sleeps in an uncomfortable bed. As nurses feel his head for fever and machines act as a metronome for his baritone snores, I watch on. My shift. My visit. My turn to watch. As broken blood cells inhibit his important process. Growing up. And his mum's had enough of maybes, probablys and hopefullys, the canteen workers' idiosyncrasies and the constant fear of losing the one thing that she loves most in the world. Him. And it's funny because Michael's favourite animal has always been the octopus. A big slippery strange looking blob that bobs around the ocean, tickling shellfish and hugging sharks. And tonight as the light dims, the rain beats against the hospital window and the background music bleeps. Michael turns over. Muttering something incomprehensible, shifting his body weight from off his right shoulder, and as he does, his tubes wobble like the arms of an octopus reaching out for the seabed. And now, instead of seeing him as a sick boy, I see him as a lost little octopus, slowly fighting his way back to the bubbling surf, catching a current to where he's supposed to be, a place where the waves aren't so rough, 